keeping your children safe in the car is vital, and the safest way for them to travel is in an appropriate child restraint for their age and size. Isofix child seats were first introduced in Europe in 1997, while the American counterpart, Latch, was introduced in 2001. Rather than using the car seatbelt, these systems use a special coupling or hook that attaches to fixed anchorage points already in the car. Under New Zealand's safety requirements, only approved models of child restraint can be used. Approved seats can be identified in three ways. By an Australian and New Zealand standard label, the European standard label or E mark, or a United States certified S mark. Cars equipped with ISOFIX attachments can be identified by tags or labelled covers in the rear seat base. Fitting an ISOFIX or latch seat is straightforward, as long as you follow the instructions. At the base of the child restraint are two attachment hooks. These attach to the anchorages in the car's seat. If you have to use your ISOFIX or latch seat in another vehicle, which is not equipped with anchor points, it is possible to install it using the seat belt in the same way as a traditional child restraint. Fitting traditional child restraints uses the vehicle seat belt across the back of the restraint and in many cases, upper tear the straps. Make sure you read and follow the seat manufacturer's instructions for specific installation information. The type of child restraint depends on the age and size of your child. Child restraint and medical professionals recommend that you keep your baby in a rear-facing seat until as old as practical, at least until two years of age. Rear-facing is the safest position for babies and infants as they often lack the neck strength needed to properly support their head in the event of a crash. New Zealand law says that drivers must make sure that up until a child's seventh birthday, the child is properly restrained by an approved child restraint that is appropriate for the age and size of the child. The child must not travel in the vehicle if they can't be secured in an approved child restraint. The vehicle safety belt on its own is not an approved child restraint. From their seventh to eighth birthday, Drivers must ensure that the child is secured in an approved child restraint if one is available, and it is appropriate for the child's age and size. Otherwise, they must use a safety belt that is available. If no child restraints or safety belts are available, they must travel in the back seat. From their eighth birthday to 14 years old, the child must use safety belts if available. If not available, they must travel in the back seat. Once the child is over 14 years old, the child must use safety belts where they are available. If your child is ready to move from a booster seat to a traditional lap sash seat belt, there are a few things to consider. Firstly, they should be at least 148 centimetres tall or 11 years old. In addition, make sure your child can sit with their back against the seat and their knees bent over the seat edge. The seat belt sash must be over the middle of their shoulder. Make sure the lap belt sits low across the hips and that this is a position that your child can maintain for the whole car trip.